game on the line right here. Season pretty much on the line. Slicing drive, corner back. He can't get it, and the Mariners win the game. J.P. Crawford comes up huge, and the Mariners season continues. Pure joy here at T-Mobile Park. A walk-off double for J.P. Crawford, and the Mariners' hopes are still alive for the wild card. J.P.'s getting mobbed out in center field. The Mariners come from behind and win it. A final score of three to two. Base is loaded, one out, bottom ten. Potential tied run at third, potential winning run at second. Payoff pitch. Hot drive, deep left. Grand slam! Bobby Witt Jr. wins it! Sensational! To have your first Major League walk off a slam, are you kidding? It's only fitting for Junior. A superstar young player just in his second year facing one of the toughest, hardest throwers in the world. One ball, two strikes. Does Yelich run on contact? That is a question. And Adamas left field hit well. Got some carry. And Adamas sends another one out. His second home run of the day. Two-run blast this time. Four-to-one Brewers as Adamas pops number 16. You know what? Let's just walk them off right here. Now Correa, 0 for 4 on the night. A drive to left. Back and gone. Twins win. The Minnesota Twins win it. Carlos Correa off the ribbon board in left field. A game ending, a game winning two run homer, and the Twins walk off Milwaukee 7-5 here at Target Field. Carlos Correa's signature moment. Duchette, one of the best at using the opposite field. Oh, he got a change up, <laughs> and he hit it a long way to left center, and it's gone. <laughs> One and all of a sudden the Blue Jays have the lead. The Blue Jays have the lead on a go ahead home run from Bo Bichette. That is one of the biggest drives we have ever seen from Bo Bichette. 460 feet. 1 0 pitch will be cracked out to Turner. That is a great play by Turner. Flips to the bag. Throw to first. A double play. Oh my goodness. Wow. Trey Turner, a spectacular play at short. It would be one thing just to get it out there, but the Phillies turn it up and get out of the inning. What a play. I mean, you're talking the play of the game right here. The right hander is ready. Here's a 3 1. In the air, center field. Friedel back near the wall. And into the basket and gone. Dansby's done it again. His second of the night, and the Cubs lead it 12-2. That's two long ones, five batted in. The only time they got him out was the line drive to center field. That is the fourth home run hit by the Cubs here tonight. Two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Three and two to Xander. In the air to deep left field. Back goes Jones into the corner. It is gone. A two-run home run for Xander Bogert. They walk it off. The Padres a walk-off win down to their final strike in the bottom of the ninth inning. Score the first two runs of this game and beat the Rockies two to nothing on Bogart's second career walk-off home run. 19th home run of the year. Bogart's coming around to celebrate. Padres walking off 2-0 in nine. Francisco Lindor homer leading off the second, and he's leading off the fourth inning. And there's Lindor hitting one deep to right. His second of the day heads toward the wall. It's out of here. 30-30 for Francisco Lindor. A 
only the fourth Met ever to have a 30 home run, 30 steal season. Lindor hits his second of the game, his third of the doubleheader. Number 30 for Lindor to tie up the game. Well, congratulations to Francisco. What an accomplishment and a fantastic year. Daryl Strawberry, Howard Johnson three times, David Wright, and now Francisco Lindor, the Mets who have had 30 home run, 30 stolen base seasons. Well, we've seen Seeger go after a top of the line fastball in the top of the zone and crush it. Could tie it with one swing. High drive! It's tied! Globe Life Field is on its feet for Corey Seeger. A two run homer and Seawald as his first blown save of the postseason. The first run scored off him. And it's a new game in the bottom of the ninth. Corey knew the moment he hit it, it was a fastball that may have been above the zone. That pitch was up, and he crushed it and displayed the kind of emotion that we saw when he homered in the first inning of Game 7 at Houston. Seeger with his fourth home run of the postseason, RBI 7 and 8.